Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Friday, everybody, on this September 7th. How's everybody doing this morning? Good to see you. Mark Miles, look at that. Ken Thor, good morning. Good to see you. Donna, Fernando, Grant, George, Phil, look at those great names. Benito, Deb, fine, everybody. All right, now all the Cyber Traders, welcome this morning. Hopefully, everybody is uh, enjoyed the week coming back from a really, really big, major end of the year holiday summer vacation and you could see now that we're getting back into the game we're already at the end of the week you know it's only been four days uh but um you could see how we had some great action yesterday especially i want to talk a little bit about this tlry you know uh we did phenomenal phenomenal on the swing trade on it and i did get out of it yesterday uh I, i'm still was upset myself that i didn't own that many shares of it uh kind of kind of went a little heavy on something else on a swing trade but on the day trade you know listen the one thing you know you have to understand and i know there's a lot of people going to be watching this video and listening to it and so on you know everybody you know we did an event yesterday okay and um uh, and you know shockingly the event that i the, the, the webinar that the free webinar i did yesterday we actually was the first time i probably seen in a long time we had a lot of options traders and i keep kind of stressing this listen options are great swing trading is great but if you don't know how to day trade how in the hell are you going to be a good options trader how are you going to know what to swing trade okay it's what happens over the course of the day which will trickle down into a swing trade into a day trade and it's amazing how many people go out there and they were like, you know, convinced, oh, you got to trade options. It's cheaper. You got leverage. That is a poor man playing a rich man's game. You do not do that. And I want to kind of stress that because a lot of people want to do it and, do, and, and don't understand why they don't make money. You know, um, we, we have a student here. I don't want to make a big deal about it. I want to bring up his name. But he says, yeah, you know, Fausto, I made $100,000 trading options in six months. I'm like, wow, great. How's that working out for you now? He goes, I lost it in two. You know, so I'm right back where I was. I said, first of all, I said, how much you want to make a year? He says, you know, I like to make, you know, a hundred thousand. You know, um, he said, but you got to make it slow and steady. You want to be consistent. So where is he back? Worked six more than almost a year, and he's back down to zero. Wasted all that time. So, but if but if he knew a why to trade those stocks, he would have did pretty well on it. And also, you know, one thing once again, I always repeat when it comes to day trading. The reason why I love it so much is because you know what you made at the end of the day. You know, you know, you it's like going to the you know you go to the bank. There's your money. You write yourself a check. And when we go in classes, remember we talk a little bit about how to actually see that. You know, cause make yourself a get yourself a paycheck. So you're like, you know, so you don't look at your account balance. Oh, you know, look how much I'm up. Listen, the money doesn't do anything in the bank. Go out there, enjoy it, spend it. You know, you don't need a lot of money to do this. Easy, uh, easy come, easy go, Ken. I, it's, it's, you know, and 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 that's that's the bad thing about when it comes into trading. And that's what I want to talk about, like this TLRY. The TLRY was like I had no. You know, and you see this all the time. I had I had no uh, uh, indication the stock was going to go to 100, right? When's the last time we saw something like this that happened to us? What was the other one that we traded? Who who can name a, a couple of them? Um, what was Elfin? Remember Elfin? Who knew Elfin was going to go up to 140, right? Where is it now? You know, you can't trust these things, and and you know, but we we knew how to do a short term swing trade on it. But good thing we got out of it. Now, could this thing go a hell of a lot higher? Listen, pot stocks, we all know it's it's a great thing. But when they go up this fast, you know, we make a lot of money and we enjoy it. But we're always not looking. We're not looking to make the 50, 60, 70 points. If you got 20 out of that swing trade, you did great. That's the way to look at it. All right, so anyway, let's talk about what we traded yesterday, what you guys missed, and then we're going to go through the watch list because, you know, obviously it is Friday, and uh, I don't know where you are, but it's pretty damn cold here. I'm actually wearing a long sleeve shirt and jeans today, which yesterday was like a complete sauna here in New York. So anyway, a couple of stocks we're going to talk about that did pretty well. Let's start off with the ARWR, which was my all-time favorite. That stock right there was an absolutely home run. I wouldn't call it a grand slam home run, maybe a two two base home run right there. But that one went from 14 to 21. I end up early, uh, made a lot of money early in that position. And uh, listen, I'm not trying to be a pig, but you know what? The bulls and bears eat, the pigs get slaughtered. Stock was a very 
easy, easy pre-market trade. You could see there from 8 o'clock all the way to 9.30. The thing ran from 14 to 19. I mean, this it was like it was like taking candy from a little kid. I told you guys, buy one damn share of the stock. If you didn't get into it, just buy a share. Okay, don't be a deer in the headlights. Buy a share. But anyway, great little mover. And if you missed it and you came in late, you could have jumped in at 9.30 and it ran from 18 to 22. You know, where is it right now? I don't care. And I, I really don't doesn't matter to me it's what we made yesterday and that's all that matters so a lot of you guys did pretty well on that trade you know and a lot of you guys made money and honestly you should all give yourself a big round of applause that was about that was my favorite cldr was another one that had a really nice pop really fast so listen some people you know if you missed one and sometimes you feel guilty to jump in because everybody made money on you like how do i chase it well listen there's a lot of them out there this one did pretty well cl um clr uh dr that one ran from 1620 to 1720 pretty much in 30 minutes i mean that's what i'm telling you that's what it's all about uh g-e-m-p that one was great. Very cheap little stock. Stock got destroyed. It was eleven dollar stock back in July. Finally came in, filled in the gap right there. It was a great afternoon trade. That was another easy pickings right there. A buck sixty to two forty. You know, a lot of people are asking me. You know, um, and also students are like, Fausto, what, what's the trading range that you trade? I'll tell you what the trading range I do not trade. You know, which is the big news today is the TSLA, the Tesla trade. You know, at two hundred and fifty six dollars. Yeah, it's a three hundred and eighty dollar stock. Oh yeah, should I say uh oh well I know I can't afford to buy the stock, that's why I'll trade the option. You know what? This maybe I'll consider the day trade an option on it. But when it comes down to money, you know, the GEMP was great going to the close. Now, a lot of great short chests today. By the way, whatever goes up comes down twice as fast. Twitter, TWTR. They took a beating and they're gonna take more of a beating. It's at I was really concerned about the support level, but Twitter Back on the watch list, TWTR, you know, um, it's going to probably come down to the 28s, a little bit more of a brand name. That one did pretty well. AMAT, okay, listen, AMAT had a, you know, you could see it, another one taking a very, very big hit. And AMAT is, you know what? Some of you are probably looking at this say, you know what? I own AMAT as a swing trade. Do I get out? Well, for crying out loud, if you saw what was happening over the course of the day, you would have probably got out yesterday around 10 o'clock and, 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 and would have saved yourself some money. But anyway, stocks breaking all-time lows. You could see it keeps breaking Fausto flags, trending down. Stock is going back on the watch list. Micron Technology, another one. All ticking. Look at these things. Taking huge hits right here. 57, 54, right down to 44. It's been down 10 points in the past five days. So um, she's holding pretty strong right here. So I'll give it a little credit there. You might get a little bit of hold right there. But other than that, it's pretty good. Go fun for Tesla. All right. Now, you know, it's pretty funny. I want to bring up the Tesla trade because everyone here is talking about that. Um, first of all, Tesla, I'm driving in my car. I'm listening to the financial stations. And then, you know, the, the whole Tesla thing. Uh, let me bring it up. TSLA. Just want to bring this up. So anyway, I'm, I'm listening on the radio, and they said, "Were you affected by the Tesla tweet about Elon Musk buying the company out, and then you got, and then it got, and then it got stock got crushed? If you lost money, go to this website, tweettesla.org, something like that." I'm like, because you're might be entitled for a billion dollar lawsuit. I'm like, are you serious? I mean, like, it's just it's like so pathetic. You know that you know that you get these lawsuits left and right. Well, anyway, this is what kind of destroys corporate America. In the meantime, you can see the stock's not doing too well. I heard, I heard, I don't know how long that thing's been out for, but I just heard it yesterday. It's crazy, but anyway, unfortunately, catastrophes do make opportunities. That's not our problem. We are here day trading, and you know what? It's a pretty damn good looking short, okay? And if you can't afford it, this is maybe the only time I would might consider doing an options day trading short on that. You could do that. You can do that. But you know what? I think there's a lot of other better stocks out there. By the way, I forgot to mention one more, BJ's. BJ's, guys, we're killing it. We're killing it. This is the one that, you know, I'm getting, listen, I'm getting a little nervous about BJ's. It's going up too fast. I was projecting, I was hoping the stock would be $40 by November. It's going up just a little too fast. Um, the stock was at 25 less than a week ago. It's already at 32. 
I'm getting very, very nervous. I don't like that. You know, I don't want people, two people knowing about it, but we're doing pretty good. I went pretty heavy on the BJ's trade. Uh, I know a lot of you here with me own the stock at, you know, when the company went public at 22, 23. And uh, so we're doing pretty well on that one, but it's not a day trade. But you know what? Yesterday was pretty funny. It wasn't actually, it was actually a day trade yesterday. It just got a big spread, but you could see it ran from like 30, 60 all the way to about 30 in after hours went to 32. So anyway, we're doing really well on it. Yeah, Grant, it did pretty well on that one. So anyway, that's uh that, that's one also my watch list. Okay, now let's talk about what's moving this morning. Now, guys, you know today is Friday. You know, I always kind of repeat, it's not hump day. It's not a Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. So there wasn't that much out there other than some of the some of the news that came out. But uh, the NVUS, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm stretching it here. But here's a stock that gapped up pretty nicely, up 31%. Stock took a little bit of a hit. It's coming back. Um, it's kind of testing its resistance levels right around six dollars. You can see it right here. It's got some good iceberg orders out there, but she's trending down, so I'm not too crazy about it. Let's see if she kind of holds supports right here. D R N A, another one I found this morning. This stock got destroyed, uh, 17 down to 13. Kind of found it, found a little bit of a support level there. She's up a little bit. Let's see if the trend um, is going to continue. A D X S. Another one I found this morning, um, stock you can see is taking a huge hit from yesterday. Let's see if it holds support levels right here back in July. If it holds, the stock could bounce. Nice little cheapy. Uh, Tesla, we already know about. TSLA, you know, some people probably ask me, where is the low on this thing? Probably right around here, right around there. Um, Tesla, you're probably looking somewhere around... 248, I probably would say. So probably got another 10 points, you know. But once again, you got to be a level five trader to trade the stock. So unless you're one of my, you know, if unless you're one of my thousand to twenty five hundred dollars a day day traders, stay away from the stock. There's so much more out there. The TLRY, just want to bring it up. Good thing we got out of it. Let's see if it holds support levels here, uh, right around the 75. It doesn't. Pretty much looks like a wash. Uh, AMD. Stock has been treating us very, very well. Another big, big winner. Uh, this is obvious. This is uh, Josh's favorite stock. He's done, you know, loves it. Told you guys so much about it. Uh, but she's starting to trend down. So that one I'm pretty much done. BJ's is also back on the watch list. Twitter, obviously on the short list. We got that one there, you know, and the um, you could see that one starting to trend lower. And AMA, uh, AMAT, AMAT, they spell it wrong. Fat finger did it. AMAT still looks like the short. All right. All right, guys. Anything I'm missing I did not call out? Anything else? All right. So anyway, I'm going to post this video on YouTube and Facebook and our Twitter page. If you like it, just click on it. Click like, guys. Uh, in the meantime, always keep looking back on what we've been trading so you kind of learn where they were and where they're at now because that's how you could kind of like gauge and say, hey, the cyber trade university really know what they're talking about? Are they doing the right thing? Why wh why people are making money? Why people are losing money? Well, you always got to fact check it and that's why we, we, we go out there and we, we show it um, and, and so you can make the judgment. And if this is something you want to do, I know we have a lot of trial members are. I told you this before. This is not for everybody, but it should be for everybody. Uh, but if it's not for you, at least you get to see what it's all about. And if it's something you want to do and you like the money and you like the salary and you like the convenience and you like uh, the uh, the freedom, then do it right or don't do it at all. All right, guys. Uh, Grant, thanks, for, uh, thanks, Fausto. Going fishing this weekend. Yeah, Grant, you know, listen, uh, fluke season is almost over. I think it's the 30th of September. So I'm going to try to get it in. I was so busy this weekend. I, you know, I went a lot away with my family. It's the only time you can really with the kids off from school. But uh, I'm definitely got to put some more fishing in. Uh, let me. I'll tell you one thing. If you ever get the opportunity to come to Long Island and you go to Montauk, okay, the best eating piece of fish you'll ever have. The fluke there, the summer flounder is just – I mean I, 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 had, I, had, I had that six-pound fish. I couldn't, it took me like two days to eat it. I actually made sushimi yesterday. I don't think some of the top restaurants in sushi restaurants had that. It was just unbelievable. I'm looking forward to it going back. But uh, – Going to uh, going to plumber uh, plumber. Let me, Tom. Listen, 
great, there's so much out here. But uh, but listen, guys, don't forget we have the on-site that's coming up in October. So great opportunity to kind of vacation. We do it on purpose. Where if you come here, it's a uh, you know we do our we do our cocktail reception, our our, uh, our soiree on Wednesday, and we day trade on. Thursday and Friday, we got guest speakers coming in. Trade Station is going to be here. And then you got the weekend. You get to enjoy it. So definitely, if you are coming here, make sure you do make a little bit of vacation out of it. Going into the city, maybe see some shows, maybe go out in Long Island, go to the vineyard, stuff like that. But it's a great place to visit. Guys, listen, good luck today. Happy trading. Let's make some money. If I don't see you at 2.30, enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll see you back here bright and early on Monday.